Good afternoon, it's Kristen Hancock, the Simcoe County Stamper, and I'm here with another Share a Tip Tuesday. This week we're going to be talking about the beautifully penned designer series paper. So you will find it in the Celebration brochure, and it is yours for free when you purchase $60. And you'll find it on page seven. So it's this black and white paper here. So you get 12 sheets, you get four of each, and it is double-sided. So there's the other side. And the other side. And the other side. Oops, sorry, there's the other side. It is made to coordinate with the hand penned stamp set, which you'll find in the annual catalog on page 105. And it is like the black and white version of the hand penned designer series paper. So it coordinates with that as well. So the reason I wanted to talk about this this week is because it's black and white, it can be used in a lot of different ways. So you can add color to it to customize it for whatever projects you're working on. So let's just take a look at this paper here. So you'll notice in the corner, I've added some colors and I've just done this with my blends. So I've put polished pink, soft succulent and daffodil delight, but you can use any colors that you have. So that's one fun way. Another fun thing you could do would be to take some, an ink pad and a sponge dauber. And you could just dip it in and just add a little bit of color. And you could obviously go as dark or as light as you want to get the look that you want. But again, it's just another fun way to inexpensively create custom paper in whatever colors you would like. So that's a lot of fun. Super simple. Now on the other side of this paper, there are stripes. So you could take an ink pad. Let me just close up this one. And your blending brush. So first of all, I know I'm all over the place. You could just use a blender pen to fill in some color and you could do each line a different color. So that's one thing you could do. Blender pens are super easy to use, but you could also Use a blending brush and just sponge some color on there. And I've chose chosen a soft color, so it will need a few passes in order for you to see the color. I should have grabbed a darker one. But hopefully you can see the purple. Can you see that purple starting to show? So, and again, you just keep going till it's as dark as you want it to be. So this is Fresh Freesia, which is the soft color. So it's just gonna add a little hint of color, which is cool. So we've done both sides of that. This one, same thing. This is just black and white polka dots, but how fun if you had cut it into um, a four by five and a quarter piece that you were gonna mat onto a card and you just gave it a pop of 
color. in the background and then you could put a floral dye or something above it. That's just a fun and easy way to add color. On the back of this paper, I thought it was kind of a neat pattern. It reminds me of waves and so I thought, wow, you could either sponge some or use your Stampin' um, blending brush to put some blue on there, or you could just highlight. Let's see, I haven't done it and I don't have a blue marker, but I'll just use this Just Shade, see what it would look like if we just highlighted some of these. Some of these waves. You could also kind of, because you have so many, create like a rainbow. What if you colored in each section a different color? I think the possibilities are endless. You know, they're gonna be as, as wide as your imagination. So you could use watercolor pencils and blending brushes as well. The other thing you could do is your spritzer. So I've got alcohol in here, and I think this one is Rich Razzleberry, Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss. One of those. You could give it a couple squirts, and that is a quick way to change the color of that paper. somebody asked me the last time I used it the concentration of my alcohol this one is 99.9 .9, but anything 70 and above would work for this the higher the concentration the quicker the alcohol is going to evaporate as you can see I've this is already dry I've got one little spot that's not and it's because I sprayed so many times over that but it's almost gone so that's the advantage to the higher concentration all right so we can spritz blending brush sponge jobber stamp and blends you could use watercolor pencil crayons and blender pens if you have used it any other way i would love to see um, stay tuned to my facebook page because later this week i will make a couple projects with some of these um colored paper that I've played around with today. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section and I would be happy to answer them. Take care and have a great day.